Right, PS2 side of how not is a reprint, reissue, updated software, you name it. Um, I'm gonna go with this first, or uh, these, since they are, you know, the, the uh, first things. Anyway, and uh, no pound sign, pound sign, no pound sign. That Rayman M, I believe it should have that. I guess. I haven't encountered any English only packaging, just that English Dutch we have now. Here's the uh, pound three. That's a uh, pound. And that's pound two with this. And of course, the uh, manuals are, in this case, missing information and art. Then we have GTA 3, and it has a uh, pound sign here. And yes, this is the uh, 1.60. Don't know if 1.40 ever got. To uh, Nordic countries. Here's a uh, 2009 reprint. Pound to again 1.60. Then we have this. See the uh, pound sign. This is a reprint from 2005. Haven't found the OG. Or it came out in 2005 over a year. Who knows? Have no freaking idea then. This is 1.50, in fact. No pound sign on the disc and. I used to have the uh, 3.00 and that had what pound sign on the disc? Uh, I have sold that since now. Yeah, there can be seen no pound. This is the original one point something. Oh, it was 03, yes. I used used to have uh, the uh, 2.01. It was pound 2 or 3, was it? Why city might have been like something pound 3? <laughs> An essay was like pound 2 or was it pound 3? You can't recall anymore. But uh, yeah, they were all 2009 reprints, you know. Then we have this thing. No pound signs over here. And I originally got uh, this and... Whoa, there's a pound sign again. These are reissues, but you wouldn't notice it from the disc. There's no pound sign. In fact, if you take a look, I'll get to that later on. 
same here, no pound sign, but this is a uh, re uh, print. Uh, if you took notes, every case seen except Rayman 10th anniversary and was it GTA 3 had a uh, memory card holder on it. Those last two here didn't have any. I've seen both of them uh, with that kind of case, so they originally had one. Yeah, this one doesn't have any. So they are reprints. I actually bought from the uh, store. They have they have been reprinted. Sadly. So interestingly there was no uh, pound signs on the discs even though the case was different. All the games we got through. <laughs> and I... I do know that all the games I have... They have that memory card holder case. I've heard differing reports about when they did uh, actually ditch that case type, but uh, it was around 2007, apparently. And I've seen a couple of games that were from 2008 that didn't have any, so... With older games, that's a sign that, oh, it's a reprint. If the disc doesn't have anything to say. And in fact, yeah, that uh, Monsters Inc. Scare Island uh, is a reprint. Though it has that holder case, I've heard that reprints don't have that type of case. Well, screw that theory. Yeah, my GTAs that I got, they were 2009 reprints, they didn't have that. But I have OGs now and they, uh, they do have the holder on it, them. And that 10th anniversary, it's from 2005, was it? This is interesting and so fascinating, you know. But that's it from Mr. PSX from a series of how to spot a reprint reissue, you know, updated software. Hmm. Yeah, all the ones that are actually software updates they are the uh, GTA 3, Vice City and San Andreas in this case all the others have other stuff though I, I'm not sure about Scare Island so I can't confirm Raymans are all the same between the Standalones and that compilation. And I have checked that burnout disc, it's the same. I, I do check all my discs, you know. Collector, you know. <laughs>
But yes, that's the end to this series. So. Where we are going to end this one here. Gonna get these. Whoa. Back to the uh, shelf. Oh, I can finally do some uh, rearranging around. Had things taken apart for this and got new stuff and some of that stuff actually was used here, so in this series that caused some things. the end to this so goodbye sirs and all that jazz you know